What is the intercept form of line? x by a plus y by b equal to 1. Two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. Two equations of straight lines are possible which will obey this. That is, if line is passing through a point, we call it as x1, y1. You find the slope of required line because they are perpendicular. If, if any line passes through any point, you can substitute the point in the line equation. Then you can substitute the point in the line equation. Substituting the point in the line equation means what? Welcome to the session dear students. So in today's class, I will be going ahead with some more numericals of straight lines. So last class we studied some problems on straight lines. We will go and solve more and more problems on straight lines. Even in sessions early, you know, one problems na, atwa bare bare problems na, different forms of line mele solve maana. So last class alli mgheli dhe nanu. Different forms of lines na tharo agi kalthiri and theli dhe. So, yalla correct agi niu namana maadhi dhe straight lines equations na problem bidhisodhu sumba suruba. So, if you are thorough with all the different forms of straight lines, it will become very easy to solve the problems. So, what are the different forms of straight lines? The first form, point slope form, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. Second form, slope intercept form, y is equal to mx plus c. Third form, two point form, y minus y1 by y2 minus y1 equal to x minus x1 by x2 minus x1. Fourth form, intercepts form x by a plus y by b equal to 1 and fifth form normal form x cos omega plus y sin omega is equal to p these are the different forms which you should be thorough with so now we'll use all the forms and we'll start solving the problems so now very first question and simple question here when you read the question they want a line perpendicular to the line segment joining 1 0 1 2 3 they want a line perpendicular to the line segment joining two points. So they give two points. I call the two points as A and B. So A and B are the two points. A they gave 1, 0. And B also they have given. What is B given? 2, 3. They want a line perpendicular to the line joining. They want a line perpendicular to this. And which divides AB in the ratio 1 is to N. So now I want you to find a line like this which is perpendicular and passing through a point at that point divides this line in the ratio 1 is to n. Interesting, they have not given point, they have not given slope. So but we can find slope and we can find point. In my last class I taught you if two lines are perpendicular then the product of slopes is minus 1. So just let me summarize or give you a best method to solve this problem. So keeping this problem in mind. So, I will go on adding up the concepts. First, become thorough with the concepts and we will complete this. So, the last class will help out. Here, a line perpendicular is product of slope minus 1. Means, if two lines are perpendicular, then m1 into m2 is how much? Minus 1. Suppose, I want a line called pm. And now, ab and pm are, they are perpendicular. So, therefore, say so if I assume the slope of this is m1, and the slope of this is m2, then m1 into m2 is minus 1. If you want m1 or if you want m2, m2 is minus 1 by m1. Means slope of one of the line is negative reciprocal of slope of other line. So if you want slope of pm, slope of pm is minus 1 by slope of ap. Or slope of ab is minus 1 by slope of pm. So simple concept. If two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. So now using this, using this, so let us, before we go to the problem, first I want you people to become thorough with this. So this is a demonstration problem before we go to that. So if two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. That is a concept. If I give two lines like this, here I have A, B and here I have B, M. And if these two are perpendicular, if two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. If this is M1 and this is M2, then M1 into M2 is minus 1. This is a condition for two lines to be perpendicular. What is the condition for two lines to be perpendicular? Product of slopes is minus 1. Here a line is perpendicular. Product of slope a beko minus one agata. Amala, if you rearrange this, is in a rearrange madadra. So m2 is minus one by m1. One of the slope is negative reciprocal of other. Simple. So directly you can use this. 
m2 is minus 1 by m1. If you can find m1, m2 is this. Now coming to this, you should also know section formula. Please make a note of all these things. First one I taught you, if two lines are perpendicular, then the product of slopes is minus 1. Slope of first line into slope of second line is minus 1. M1 into M2 is minus 1 or M2 is minus 1 by M1. So, if two lines are perpendicular, M2 is what? Minus 1 by M1. Means slope of second line is minus 1 by slope of first line. This is the condition for perpendicular. If two lines are perpendicular, this is the thing. Now, section formula. See, suppose if a point P if a point P divides A B A B in the ratio M is to N. If a point P divides A B in the ratio M is to N internally, then how to find P? If this is say X1, Y1 and this is say X2, Y2, then you can easily find P by section formula. According to the section formula, the point of division is Mx2 plus Nx1 divided by M plus N. Similarly, m y 2 plus n y 1 divided by m plus n. That's it. So, what is the point? P is m x 2 plus n x 1 by m plus n and m y 2 plus n y 1 by m plus n. That is the point of division. So, these two are criteria for solving this problem. If you want to solve this problem, we need to know this. What is the first condition? If two lines are perpendicular, product of slopes is minus 1. What is the second condition? Second condition is point of division. Now, we will start with this. Ok, now they want you to find line. That line is perpendicular to line joining AB. So, I will draw a draft diagram. They gave A and B. You can see they gave two points A and B. What is A given? A they gave 1, 0. B they gave 2, 3 and they want a line perpendicular to this line. So, let me assume this is the line PM. PM is the line perpendicular to AB. They want a line perpendicular to AB and, and this line divides AB in the ratio 1 is to N. Now, first on the line you can find a point. On the line you can find a point and you can also find slope of. So, we need required line is PM. We want to find PM. To find PM, we don't know slope of PM, but we know slope of AB. First, we will find slope of AB. First, find slope of AB. Please remember, in my first class, I taught you how to find slope of line joining points. How to find slope of line joining points? Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. So, now, I call this as X1, Y1 and I call this as X2, Y2. Now, how to find slope of AB? Slope of AB is Y2 minus Y1 by X2 minus X1. That is difference of Y coordinate. That is 3 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 1. So, that will be 3 by 2. Y2 minus Y1, 3 minus 0 divided by 2 minus 1. 3 by 2 minus 1 is 3. 3. Now, you got, now you got slope of AB. You got slope of AB. So now you need slope of PM. Now we E line slope bandi This is AB. AB slope you got. We don't want AB slope. We want slope of what PM. For that I told the logic. Now we got slope of AB. We call it as M1. M1 is 3. Now slope of slope of required line. Our required line. Required line is what? We need to find PM. Required line is line PM is m2 m2 i call it as minus 1 by m1 minus 1 by m1 means minus 1 by 3 this is a slope so now you got slope of this line slope of the required line here we told m2 or i can say m m is what minus 1 by 3 so now my dear students you got m2 is also called as what m my dear students you got slope so if you know point on the line you can use point slope form so i hope all of you are clear so, you can copy till this part. What we have done? We found out slope. Now, I need to find one of the point on this line. On this line, I can find M because M divides AB in the ratio 1 is to N. So, to find M. Now, we will find M, point of division. So, I hope all of you understood this. So, I will continue. M, we got minus 1 by 3. Now, the same diagram. This is P and this is M and this is A and this is B. 
and the line is capital M, the point of division 1 is to N is the ratio they give and A, B they give. What is A given? 1, 0 and B, 2, 3. Now, we will do this to find M. M is a point of division 1 into X2 that is 2. I am using the formula Mx2 plus Nx1 by M plus N section formula plus N into 1 divided by M plus N. M plus N means 1 plus N. Similarly, 1 into y2, 1 into 3 plus n into 0 divided by m plus n, that is 1 plus n. Now, further, we will simplify this. m value is exactly 2 plus n divided by n plus 1 and 3 plus 0, 3 divided by 1 plus n. I hope all of you understood this. Here I use section formula. What is section formula? We will assume this is M. We will assume this is N. And this is X1, Y1. And this is X2, Y2. And you know section formula for internal division. What is section formula? So, MX2 plus NX1 by M plus N. Similarly, MY2 plus NY1 by M plus N. This is section formula we will use. And after using the section formula, we will get this value. So now you know slope of the line, you know slope of the line and also you know point on the line, you know slope of the line, you also know point on the line. So once you know slope and point on the line, then you can find. So last case we got M, what is M we got? Minus 1 by 3. Now we got point on the line, that is a point, we named it as M and the point what we got is what? Point what we got is 2 plus N divided by N plus 1 or 1 plus N you can say 3 divided by 1 plus N. Now we got these two. So you can use point slope form to find the equation of line. So now we got slope also, we got point also, we will use point slope form. So now we got m and we got point. You know slope is m and point we call it as what? x1, y1. Now can't we write the line equation? They want you to find the line equation. If you know point and slope, what is the best form? Point slope form. So required line is, so required line is, can I write point slope form? required line is, I will write point slope form, that is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1, this is a required line. Now y minus y1, what is y1? What is y1 given? 3 divided by 1 plus n is equal to m, what is m? Minus 1 by 3 into x minus x1, x minus 2 plus n divided by n plus 1. Further we will simplify this. We will rearrange this. If I take LCM, LCM is 1 plus n or n plus 1, 1 and the same, n plus 1 into y minus 3 is equal to, take LCM here also, minus 1 by 3 into, if I take LCM, n plus 1 is the LCM or 1 plus n, both are same. So, and cross multiply, you will get n plus 1 into x minus 2, minus 2 minus n, I will write, I will take minus for both. Now, I can cancel these two, n plus 1, n plus 1 cancels. Now, multiply minus sign and rearrange, you will get the answer. Now, that is n plus 1 times y minus 3 is equal to and multiply, if I bring this denominator 3 to this side, it will become product is equal to, multiply this, it will become minus of n plus 1x minus into minus plus n plus 2. Now further you can simplify this, further if you multiply 3 and bring terms to this side, if I bring term to this side it will become n plus 1 into x plus this term that is 3 times n plus 1 into y, this is n plus 1 into y minus 3, 3 is a 9, after you transfer this to this side minus 2 minus n is equal to 0 or we say n plus 1 into x plus 3 times n plus 1 into y minus n minus 11 equal to 0. This is the equation. So finally, after you write this, you have to rearrange that set. I hope all of you understood. So we wanted a point, we got the point. We wanted a slope, we got the slope, but slope was not direct. They gave slope of one line. 
ए बी दे ए बी लाइन ज्वाइनिंग पॉइंट फंड स्लोप ऑफ ए बी हाउ टू फाइंड स्लोप ऑफ ए बी वाई टू माइनस वाई वन बाई एक्स टू माइनस एक्स वन देन यू फाइंड द स्लोप ऑफ रिक्वायर्ड लाइन बिकॉज दे आर परपेंडिकुलर इफ टू लाइन्स आर परपेंडिकुलर प्रोडक्ट ऑफ स्लोप्स इज माइनस वन सो एम टू इज माइनस वन बाई एम वन यू कैन यूज आफ्टर दैट यू गो हेड विथ वॉट इज कॉल्ड एस पॉइंट ऑफ डिविजन इंटरनल डिविजन सेक्शन फॉर्मला यू गेट अ पॉइंट एंड सॉल्व द प्रॉब्लम नेक्स्ट फाइंड द इक्वेशन ऑफ लाइन interesting from here the problems are simple the first problem was also simple but all the cases were there second formula was there product of slopes was there because it's perpendicular now it is direct find the equation of line which cuts off equal intercepts they mentioned which cuts off what equal intercepts on the coordinate axis find the equation of line which cuts off equal intercepts on the coordinate axis and passes through the point after you read the question you have to decide what is a suitable equation they are using the word intercepts so suitable equation is intercept form what is the intercept form of line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 i decided intercept form because when you read the problem they gave that and they also told it passes through a point and they also told cuts equal intercept first after you read the problem in solution write what is given so can i write given a equal to b because it is cutting equal intercepts any line cuts equal intercept then x intercept and b intercepts are same means what a equal to b this is given indirectly now required line what is the required line see because they are talking about intercepts because they are talking about intercepts use intercepts form so required line is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 this is a required line and in this a and b are same so in the place of b put a that is x by a plus y by a equal to 1 further take lcm for this if i take lcm for this a that is x plus y is equal to 1 rearrange so you'll get x plus y is equal to what a into 1 is a so we got this is the answer this is our line this is our line but this contains an unknown what is unknown a in order to find a they gave a hint if any line passes through any point you can put the point in the line so please remember yavadadru line ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಪಾಸ್ ಆದರೆ ಆ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ನ ಲೈನ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಬೋದು ಥ್ರೂ ಔಟ್ ದ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸೊ ಲೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವೈ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಪುಟ್ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಲೈನ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಎನಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೈನ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಒನ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅವರ್ ಲೈನ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಆ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಟೂ ತ್ರೀ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ನೋ ಐ ಟೋಲ್ಡ್ ಯು ಇಫ್ ಎನಿ ಲೈನ್ ಪಾಸಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಎನಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಯು ಕೆನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಪುಟ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಪುಟ್ ವೈ ಕೋಆರ್ಡಿನೇಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಟೂ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವೈ ಪುಟ್ ತ್ರೀ ಟೂ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ತ್ರೀ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಇಸ್ ಎ ಆರ್ ಎ ಇಸ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಫೈವ್ ನಾವು ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಾವು ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇನ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಅಸ್ ಟೂ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಟೂ ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ಸಬ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯೂಟ್ ಈಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಟು ಇನ್ ಒನ್ ದೆನ್ ಒನ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ಸ್ x plus y is equal to in the place of a put the value of a what is the value of a 5 so that's it x plus y minus 5 equal to 0 this is a required equation so first simple question they wanted to find the equation of line which cuts equal intercepts equal intercept means what a and b both are same ಅವರು ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟರೆ ಏನಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಮತ್ತು ವೈ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಎರಡು ಸೇಮ್ ಅಂತ ಅರ್ಥ ಅಂದರೆ ಎ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಮತ್ತು ಬಿ ವ್ಯಾಲ್ಯೂ ಎರಡು ಒಂದೇ ಅಂತ ಅದಾದ ನಂತರ ವಿ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ರೈಟ್ ದ ರಿಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಇಕ್ವೇಷನ್ ಅವ್ರ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಮಾತಾಡಿದ್ರಿಂದ ಚೂಸ್ ದ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಲೈನ್ ಸೊ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಟು ಡಿಸೈಡ್ ವಿಚ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಐ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಸೊ ರಿಕ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಲೈನ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಸೆಪ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಎ ಪ್ಲಸ್ ವೈ ಬೈ ಬಿ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಟು ಒನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಬಿ ವಿಲ್ ಪುಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಈಕ್ವಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಎಲ್ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ದೆನ್ ರಿಅರೇಂಜ್ this is the answer but it does not have value of a so to find the value of a they gave a hint hint en kodidare the told line passes through 2 3 if any line passes through any point you can substitute the point in the line equation put 2 comma 3 in the place of
board pattern first you should show what is given then you should show what is the formula you are using and then you have to substitute i hope all of you got this so we'll go to the next problem find the equation of line passing through 2 comma 2 the line is passing through a point called 2 comma 2 and cutting off intercepts on the axis whose sum is 9 and the line is cutting off intercepts sum is 9 so can i say they have given sum of intercepts is 9 they have given cutting intercepts on the axis axis is plural x axis and y axis whose sum is 9 means they give x intercept plus y intercept a plus b is 9 is given a plus b 9 is given now we need to find the equation of line so a plus b they give 9 so from this you can get value of a or value of b i will get b what is b 9 minus a can i write so now b value is 9 minus a now required equation of line because they are talking about intercepts i will take required line equation is required line is what is the required line intercept form of line what is the intercept form of line required line is x by a plus y by b equal to 1 that is x by a what is a a unknown plus y by b what is b 9 minus a is equal to 1 this is the answer regard the answer for it is equation 1 but but we want value of a without value of a the line is incomplete Again, like last problem, they gave a hint. Last problem, there are hint hints. What is the hint they told? The line passes through 2 comma 2. Line passes through what? 2 comma 2. If any line passes through any point, you can put the point in the line equation. In the place of x and y, put the x coordinate and y coordinate. If you do that, in the place of x, I will put 2 by a plus in the place of y coordinate also, put what? 2 9 minus a is equal to 1. Now simplify this, take LCM. If I take LCM, I will have A into 9 minus A. Cross multiply 2 into 9 minus A plus 2A is equal to 1. Rearrange 9 to 18 minus 2A plus 2A is equal to cross multiply A into 9 minus A. Now minus 2A plus 2A cancels. You have 18 here and bring the term to LHS. 18 is equal to 9a minus a square. Now rearrange it will become quadratic equation. That is a square transfer all terms to LHS minus 9a plus 18 is equal to 0. Now this is a quadratic equation. And solve this quadratic equation and you will get two values of a. So now what are the factors for 18 that will give you minus 9? Factors for 18. So, you know two factors for 18. So, that should give you two numbers. Product should give you 18 and some should give 9. So, you can take 6 3 is 18. 6 plus 3 gives you 9. So, minus 6 minus 3. So, I will write it as a square minus 6a minus 3a plus 18 is equal to 0. Further, middle term factorization. If you take a common, it will become a minus 6 minus 3 common a minus 6 is equal to 0 or a minus 6 you take common a minus 6 into a minus 3 is equal to 0 or a is equal to what 6 and a is equal to 3 two possible values means two different equations of lines will satisfy this condition now i got two values of a corresponding values you substitute you will get b so i hope all of you understood till this part first they told sum of intercepts is 9 a plus b is 9 so get b value b value becomes what 9 minus a and because they are talking about intercepts use the intercept form of line what is intercept form of line x by a plus y by b equal to 1 in the place of a let it be a in the place of b write 9 minus a and take lcm simplify you'll get the values you get two values for a one is 6 and the other one is 3 now we'll substitute the values so i'll erase this part so that you understood this so now we got two values of a corresponding values so at a is equal to I will take 6 and we got b is what 9 minus a this was the equation so b becomes 9 minus 6 b is 3 so when a is 6 b is 3 using this you can form one equation and at a is equal to 3 when a is 3 b is 9 minus a 9 minus 3 that is 6 so other pair of values 
when a is 3 b is 6 opposite so using this you can form one equation of line using this you can form other equation of line so two possible equations of line so now we got two sets using these two sets you form two equations now substitute so now equation one implies so substitute a equal to 6 and b is equal to 3 equation one is the line line is x by 6 plus y by 3 9 minus 3 is equal to 1 simplify this it will become x by 6 plus y by 3 equal to 1 or cross multiply we will get 3x plus 6y is equal to 1 this is one of the answer so 3x plus 6y minus 1 equal to 0 is one line and similarly you can find other line so the problem did not end so now i took a and b this pair and i am asking you people to put this a you take 3 b you take 6 you will get quotient interchange you will get 6x plus 3y equal to 1 i expect you people to find another equation so two equations of straight lines are possible which will obey this that is sum of the coordinates is 9 so one pair I took that is 6 and 3 and I have got it. I am asking your students to take A3 and B6 and solve it. You will get one more pair. Their quotients interchange are here. So I hope all of you understood this. First problem cutting equal intercept A is equal to B. Second problem sum of the intercepts is 9. Means A plus B is 9. From that get B. And if any line passes through any point then you can substitute the point in the line equation. Substituting the point in the line equation means what? In the place of X coordinate put the X value. In the place of Y coordinate put the Y value. Then you will get the unknown that's it then we have one more interesting question find the equation of line passing through the point 0 comma 2 the line is passing through 0 comma 2 and making an angle 2 pi by 3 it makes an angle 2 pi by 3 see and with positive x axis also they want you to find parallel line to it so now first given they want you to find the equation of line through 0 comma 2 now one point you know so point kotidra so x1 y1 and they gave angle they have not given slope they gave angle can i say given theta theta is what 2 pi by 3 so slope what is slope m is tan theta tan theta means what tan 2 pi by 3 tan 2 pi by 3 means tan 2 into pi by 3 is 60 or 180 by so tan 120 we have to use allied angles so in trigonometry you will be learning allied angles from allied angles you have to find slope so they have not given slope directly they give angle made by the line with x-axis if you know angle made by the line with x-axis then you can find slope slope is what tan theta tan 2 into 60 that is 120 they give tan 120 degrees so tan 120 degrees can i write 180 minus 60 tan of 180 minus theta is tan theta minus tan theta minus tan 60 we have to use allied angles ASTC rule 180 minus theta lies in second quadrant in second quadrant alphabet is s so it does not match so it will be minus tan 60 minus tan 60 is root 3 so all of you know tan table m is equal to minus root 3 in my very first class i taught you how to find slope slope means what tangent of angle made by the line with x axis in this problem they give angle made by the line with x axis what is the angle made by the line with x axis 2 pi by 3 then you find slope how to find slope tan theta tan 2 pi by 3 when you do tan 2 pi by 3 you will get this so now you know slope you know point on the line point on the line is called as what x1 y1 when you know point and slope you can use what point slope form so now the required line is so required line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 why i'm using this so in my last problem i use intercepts form because they have intercepts they told sum of intercepts is 9 in before that they told intercepts are equal depending on what is given we have to choose the forms that's why you should know all the forms of line so you know when you know point on the line and when you know slope of the line you can use point slope form what is point slope form of line y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 so now we'll substitute it now they have given point point we call it as x1 y1 so angle from that angle you got slope if you know point and slope you will use point slope from this form so y minus what is y1 y1 means 2 m m is what minus root 3 into x minus x1 is 0 simplify this so you will get y minus 2 is equal to minus root 3 x or bring minus root 3 x to this side root 3 x plus y minus 2 equal to 0 this is the required line i hope all of you understood how to find the e so they give point point on the line is called as x1 y1 
but they give angle made by the line angle made by the line is called as theta when you know angle made by the line with x-axis you can find slope what is the slope definition slope is called as tangent of angle made by the line with x-axis use the formula tan theta and you will get slope once you know slope and point you can use what form point slope form after using that you will get the equation of the line perpendicular from the origin to a line meets it at minus 2 comma 9 find the equation of the line they told there is a perpendicular that meets from origin to the line so suppose if this is the origin origin from the origin a perpendicular meets the line the perpendicular from the origin so they are drawing this is origin suppose is meeting the line at this point at this point called p minus 2 comma 9 so please observe this is our line down this is our line liquid line a perpendicular they have drawn it is meeting and they have also told uh, meeting point minus 2 comma 9 from the origin origin means you know what is origin 0 comma 0 so now this is perpendicular i want line l slope of line l so you know you know point on the line please observe it is very simple and easy first you have to understand the question what is given they want equation of line they want equation of line there are different forms of lines how to decide which form to use depending on what is given they told line is meeting at this point means point on the line you know and they gave a hint that perpendicular drawn from origin meets at p means p is on the line so this is the point on the line we call it as x1 y1 we don't know slope of the line to find the slope of line i consider the slope of op as m1 and i consider the required line slope as m how these two are these two are perpendicular if two lines are perpendicular then the product of slopes is minus one first i will find slope of op how to find slope of op all of you know to find slope of op we can use y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 so here i consider y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 let us assume this is x1 y1 and this is x2 y2 so difference of y coordinate y coordinate is what 9 minus 0 divided by x2 minus x1 minus 2 minus 0 you will get minus 9 by 2 minus 9 by 2 is slope of op op i call it as m1 and because our line required line l is perpendicular to op if two lines are perpendicular product of slopes is minus 1 so m into m is required line slope into this m1 is minus 1 can i take this is in told boda because your line perpendicular if two lines are perpendicular product of slopes is minus 1 for this op i found out slope using the formula y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 you know how to find slope of line joining points how to find slope of line joining points difference of y coordinate by difference of x coordinate i have done it and i got slope and slope product is minus 1 so now m is minus 1 by m1 that is minus 1 by what is m1 minus 9 by 2 so minus by minus cancels it will become 2 by 9 this is m we got m slope and apart from that you know you know slope of the line you also know what is called as point on the line point on the line is this so you can use point slope form so now point on the line they gave what is the point on the line minus 2 9 slope all it as x1 y1 and slope was not given just now we got slope what is slope 2 by 9 positive so now if you know point and slope can't you solve this you can use what form point slope form what is point slope form of line y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 you have m with you you have x1 y1 with you apply the formula get the answer so now required line what is required line so therefore required line equation is required line is y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 this is a required line and y minus what is y1 so this is x1 y1 here also i wrote so we call this as x square x1 and we call this a point and point on the line is x1 y1 y minus y1 what is y1 9 m m is what 2 by 9 x minus what is x1 minus 2 simplify this further so i hope from here you can do it so y minus 9 is equal to 2 by 9 into x plus 2 rearrange this when you rearrange this you will get 9y minus 9 9s are 81 is equal to 2x plus 4 further simplify 2x minus 9y transfer all terms to that side 
that is plus 81 plus 4 is equal to 0 or 2x minus 9y plus 81 85 81 plus 4 is equal to 0 this is the answer I hope all of you got this so now every problem you have to see what is given in this they told line is passing through a point if line is passing through a point we call it as x1 y1 they are not given slope of the point line directly but we can use the technique what is that if a line is perpendicular to other line find the slope of the perpendicular line and negative reciprocate so we know m1 into m2 is what minus 1 if two lines are perpendicular then the product of slopes is minus 1 first we found out slope of op then minus 1 by slope of op gives us slope of required line using that we have done so till now we have used only two forms one is point slope form y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1 the other one is intercept form x by a plus y by b equal to 1 similarly we can also find equations of line depending on what is given so depending on given we can also conclude different forms of lines <coughs> now so in today's session i have taught you different forms of lines and we have done problems based on different forms of lines so i am repeating my dear students, please remember all the definitions of the chapter and attend my session and all the forms. First, you know slope. Slope means what? Tangent of angle made by the line with x-axis. And how to find slope? Tan theta if they give angle. And if they give end points, y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1. And different forms of lines also we have done. What are the different forms of lines? In today's class, we used only two points, two forms. One is intercept form, x by a plus y by b equal to 1. The other one is point slope form, y minus y1 is equal to m into x minus x1. We have further, few more forms. We'll use all the forms and we'll solve problems based on all the different forms also. So, please revise this and attend my next session. Till then, bye. Thank you.